Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Shockwave 48 here. Welcome back to another video. And we got, you know, still more information about My Hero Demon Season 6 spoiler of mangas. And I hope everyone, you know, is enjoying the season of Season 6 of My Hero Demia because I'm surely am. I'm hit with all the schedules. I got my schedule, you know, locked up just in case I ever miss or anything. So I'll be able to stay on each episode that is released. So. Yeah, so we're going here to take a look uh, with Deku's 100 and 20% off one quirks because right now he's getting po powerful every each time he fights Shigaraki and it's just amazing. It's just, I never know how powerful Deku will be at that time when he first got his power from All Might. And I was like thinking to myself, hey, maybe he's just going to be strong or maybe he's just going to probably stick to the um what he has. But as right now, he has multiple power on him and it's just so amazing so we're just gonna see what these powers can actually do and how powerful will he may be so yeah let's let's go take a look guys i'm excited let's do this so we finally reached the point in the story where izuku has unlocked all of the quirks of the previous users of one for all meaning that he now currently has seven quirks but seven. not only that he can also use not only 100 percent of one for all but 120 freaky percent of it meaning that he's pretty much at the peak of his power right now something that we've been waiting for a very long time so i want to go over what makes him so powerful as well as what all of his quirks are so let's get into it so first of all of course he has has one for all, which came to be kind of accidentally because Yoichi, the first user of one for all, as well as the brother of all for one, had this quirk that only had the ability to pass itself on to other people, so it was kind of useless. And because of this, all for one thought that he was quirkless, so he forcibly gave him a power stockpiler quirk. This quirk, in theory, could accumulate power over time and make the user stronger. But when he did this, it wound up fusing together with his initial quirk that allows itself to be passed on to others, and this new quirk eventually comes to be known as one for all. And long story short, Yuichi eventually passes this quirk on to the second user, who passes it on to the third user, and once it eventually gets to the fourth user, Hikage Shinomori, this is the first time that a user of this quirk is actually able to take advantage of the power stockpiler, because he goes into seclusion for like 18 years and devotes his life to building up the power. And this is kind of like the beginning of what we see All Might and Izuku. Like, it wasn't always like that super powerful. It took time to get to that point. But after that, he eventually passes on to the fifth user and on to the sixth and then it goes on to the seventh Nana Shimura who is the teacher of All Might and then she eventually gives it to All Might but he's the one who really makes it this super ultra powerful quirk that we come to know it to be and then of course he eventually gives it to Izuku and once he gives it to Izuku this is kind of like the paradigm shift of the quirk because Izuku was just in the right place at the right time to obtain this quirk as to where it fully unlocked its true potential because it's eventually revealed that the quirk factors of all of the previous users were mixed into the core of one for all and along with it becoming progressively more powerful as the years went on when it was being passed on from user to user one user izuku would eventually be able to use all of the quirks of the previous users on top of just having the power of one for all but not only that another anomaly has happened with this quirk now izuku can be the previous users of one for all aside from like their quirk factors but also a part of them has been stored in the quirk as well and now they're like manifested as like these pseudo ghosts things that are pretty much sentient and have like their original personalities i suppose and can also like observe reality through izuku and not only communicate with him but they can like communicate with each other as well and as the story goes on this aspect of it gets stronger and stronger until currently where they could just pop out at any time and just talk to him willy-nilly it's even gotten to the point of where like even all for one can now see the passages as well but like i said the quirk has just become so powerful at this point and another thing that we've seen throughout the series is Zuku using percentages of it. Like it started off with just 5%, and we eventually got to 45% and using 100% of it was always kind of like a special. But like I said in the beginning, Izuku has reached the peak of his power. So now he can just use 100% of one for all, no problem. And this goes into another thing that I said in the beginning out where he's he just surpassing that as well. He can just use 120% 
of one frog. But I guess it just means he's going beyond the initial limits of it. Like he's that strong right now. But now I want to go into all of the quirks that Izuku has. So the first one that we saw him unlock was the fifth user Daigoro Banjo's quirk, Black Whip. And it's quite literally as it sounds. He can produce like these black whips. And I guess I was actually like surprised when he actually kind of unlocked Black Whip. I, I was pretty much really hyped up. <laughs> they are, but they're pretty busted. Like he can use this in so many ways. Like it's a great utility quirk. Not only for just capturing his opponents, but also leveraging off of things and maneuverability and mobility. Even recently we've seen him using it in combination with his other quirks as well and i'll get into that but like one of the main things is like straight up using it like a slingshot to propel himself even faster than he's already going and he could use that synergistically with the other quirks and that's another thing that i'm going to be talking about all of these quirks kind of work together in a great synergistic way as to where he's just become almost nigh unbeatable but the next quirk that we saw him use was float and that belonged to nana the seventh user the grandmother of shigaraki as well as the teacher of all right and it basically allows him him to levitate like he can't straight up fly using this but like i said using other quirks along with it ichugu can just pretty much straight up fly at this point the next That's one we pretty saw impressive that was danger sense and this allows izuku to detect threats i mean it's you know, straight up as it says, danger sense. He senses danger. And let's, you know, call this for what it is. It's pretty much spider sense. And I'm sure we're all familiar with that. Like he could sense oncoming attacks, even if he can't see them, like he can sense where other people are. Like it's really cool, but there is a drawback to it as to where like if the opponent or whoever else doesn't have like a malicious intent coming after Izuku, then he won't be able to detect it. Because we saw in like chapter 345, when Toga was trying to grab Izuku to pull him into her own warp gate, it didn't activate. Because because Toga loves Izuku, so there was like no malicious intent behind her action. After that, he unlocked Smoke Screen which originally belonged to the sixth user. And yeah, it just pretty much allows him to produce a, a smoke screen. And this is probably his least impressive quirk for sure. He doesn't really use it too much, but when he does, it's very effective. After that, he unlocked Fa Jin, and this belonged to the third user. And this is by far one of his best quirks. I wonder if he's gonna unlock Fa Jin in season six. He's probably gonna unlock all of them in season six, moves. hopefully. And at some point he can just release that stored up energy and just have like one big explosive movement. Like when he first starts using this, it's, you know, pretty impressive. But as time goes on, we see that he can just bust this out at any time because he can always just store up kinetic energy using this quirk. Like this is especially more busted in the latest chapters because as he's fighting, he can just put all of that energy into using Fajin and then just suddenly just release it into one massive attack or one explosive movement. And like I also said, he used it with Black Whip to like slingshot himself but not only that but he can also transfer the fajin kinetic energy into black yeah he can actually do that somehow, which he says is a boosted binding combo and this, this makes, makes the, the black, black chain and then we come to his final quirk which he recently just unlocked and this belonged to the second user and it's called gear shift and this might be aside from one for all his best quirk like this is maybe one of the best quirks in the series period because it gives izuku the ability Ability to alter the speed of anything he touches so like he can touch himself or he can touch somebody else and alter their speed either making them faster or slower so like if he touches himself then he can start moving at an even faster speed than what he already has because we know that he's already incredibly fast because of course just base one for all and then we just went over fa Jin. so then on top of that he can use this and go even faster than that but also Pretty like impressive. if he's punching someone He's touching them at the same time, right? So then he can also activate gear shift at that point and make them move even faster than what they normally would. So, you know, like in battle anime, when somebody gets punched, they go flying. Well, now he can make them go flying even faster. But then there's like levels to it as well, because he can go into like second gear, third gear, top gear, overdrive, and as it, and incrementally just get faster and faster with every touch that he does. But like I also said, he can make things slower as well, because he could just be moving moving incredibly fast, but then he can shift into low gear and then suddenly just come to a complete stop, ignoring the laws of inertia. Like that's literally said by the second user. Like I said, this is crazy and one of the best quirks in the series, but also only because One For All has amplified it so much. It's not like this quirk inherently was this busted when the second user had it. But going more into that, it said that its scope broadened, allowing it to apply to a more diverse targets and function right down to the cellular level. 
level. Like he can speed up his entire being, like through all of his cells. And it also says warp the very laws That's of pretty governing awesome. reality. As to where he can hit all for one with a quintuple Detroit smash. Like he's hitting them so fast consecutively that it's seemingly happening all at one time. But yeah, that those is are so all epic. Quirks, and we actually see him using them like all together in the latest chapter in this amazing sequence where first he uses smoke screen to hide all for one and himself, then uses danger sense to locate exactly where he is, then flies above him using Nana's float quirk then uses black whip to grab him and pull him up to him then it's also revealed that this entire time you know along with that quintuple smash he was building up fa Jin, so he has that in the tank and then finally he activates the seconds gear shift to go straight into the overdrive aspect of it and all of this together just winds up with him giving all for one quite possibly the strongest smash that we've seen from anyone outside of all might in the series Dang. at this point it's just a uh, excellent sequence but yeah that's izuku right now in the series totally busted and uh i don't think this is the end for him i'm sure he's going to get even more powerful than this but this is pretty much all that we're going to learn from him at this point i suppose at least with his quirk but if we do get it okay all right i heard enough that right whatever i just saw from this video deku is 100 percent amazing hero i mean all these quirks that he has I thought he had six, but now he has seven. And that's totally beyond awesome. Like, has he ever reached his limit yet? I mean, how powerful he's going to get if he's going to continue fighting Shigaraki like this? Because, as far as I'm concerned, Shigaraki is pretty much out of shape. And he's still upset because he had not used all his power yet. And Deku's still beating him up. I'm like, how long is this going to last for him? I mean, don't quirks usually have a limit to how much pr pressure you put into the power? I mean, that's crazy. I gotta say, Deku is one tough hero to take out. <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of understand what he can do and what his quirks can do. So, I pretty much got everything all set up. So, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. In the meantime, stay tuned for more videos along the way. Look forward to see what happens next on the next chapter of My Hero Demon Season 6. But right now, I'm going to continue watching the real, the show on you know Hulu, and I'm going to see for myself if, it, if they're actually real. All right, so that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.